greetings. This is this and I am me and I call it Kingdom Turmoil. The other day, I was just as thinking about the games that I've played that are super fun and I thought of Kingdom, you know, Kingdom New Lands, Kingdom, Kingdom Two Crowns, and I thought of Turmoil. And I'm like, both of those games were such good games. And then I thought, you know what? They're kind of similar. They both have, you know, like the horse running across the screen uh, from side to side. You know, you got to worry about the left side. And you got to worry about the right side. And, you know, there's the money management. There's upgrades. And so I thought, why not have a game that combines those two games? Kingdom on the top and turmoil on the bottom. So you know how in the kingdom games there's like ground level and then there's like below ground but they just have put like water there like they just show like you know it's not below but they could just get rid of the water and just put a turmoil portion on the bottom okay with all of the dirt there and the goal of the game it's like it's like kingdom but you're you're mining oil <laughs> I mean, I think it's a fantastic idea. Like, okay, so just here, I've got, I've got a little, I've got a couple of the things figured out here, okay? So first of all, the screen, like I said, kingdom on top, terminal on the bottom. But the thing is, the top will still scroll like a kingdom game. You, you scroll from side to side, whereas the bottom will be fixed, just like in turmoil. So you're gonna need to little, let, let's slap on a little um, Mario Kart progress bar here in the middle. You're gonna have a bar like this in the middle of the screen, but there'll only be like one of these things here. And so as you move one direction, the thing will move according to your position based off of the bottom screen. Does that make sense? So like it, it, if you keep running and then it will line up so that you're like at one of those pipes or something like that. Do you get what I'm saying? Hopefully you get what I'm saying. If you don't, oh well, too bad. Um, so yeah, that's that's the looks of it, okay? We, and they can make the bottom look a little bit more kingdomy, a little bit more pixelized and whatnot. But um, fixed on the bottom, scrolling on the top. I don't want to get rid of those two elements from those two games. I think, you know, it's, it's all about a, a perfect balance between the two games. You don't want it to be just like a kingdom game where you're mining oil. You want the turmoil aspect to still be there, right? So, um, basically what we can do here is you can, you can still start out with some money and some people just like you do in normal kingdom games. You know, they, you collect a couple of coins so that you can start up your, your keep right from the start. And then there's a couple of people to recruit there. But there isn't going to be any monsters, okay? There's not going to be any portals and monsters. You don't have to defend yourself every night, okay? You still need to build a keep. Um, and you still need people. But those people that you hire, you can hire dowsers. You can hire um, horses, you know, like wagons. You can maybe hire some other people that I didn't think of yet, but basically I know you would obviously need horses and dowsers. So, you know, when you hire someone, they become one of those two things. And then the dowsers, they will walk out and they will stop at a spot that has oil on it. And then you have to go with your horse and run along, you know, the way to, to see where the dowsers have stopped. And then instead of like building a portal thing or building like a tower, you will have the prompt to be able to build and you will build a rig there. Yeah. And then um, there'll be ways that you can get maybe, maybe with the huts, you know, the people in the huts or something, you can collect one of them and then bring them to a rig and that will upgrade the rig to make it better. Things like that. Um, and it'll be slower paced, turmoil, everything goes fast, fast, fast. Um, this, this I, th I would imagine being a little bit slower because you're going to have to run along the path to check on your rigs to make sure they're not spilling and things like that. So one could be spilling out in the forest and you wouldn't necessarily know because you didn't get to it yet. Um, maybe there's like an audio, you know, there's an audio cue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when a portal gets defeated, there will be an audio cue when the rigs start overflowing but you know you got to run whichever way that you think it is so that's interesting but yeah like they they empty out 
the stuff from the ground and everything a little bit more slowly. Um, so yes, you can, oh, the two sides. So you know how there's like a portal on each side usually? Well, that'll be left and right ink on each side. There'll be a place where you can choose to sell the oil. And also if you don't want to sell your oil and you want to keep it, you keep it in the keep. So you know how normally you put money in the keep? Well, the keep will be where you can store your oil. It'll be like a giant silo. You can store your oil there if you don't want to sell it yet. I know everything just lines up perfectly. Um, so each each land, you know how in turmoil, there's like different plots of land, and then you know you stay there for like a year, and then on in this kingdom game, there's also different lands. But on in kingdom, the lands go on for however long you want them to go on for until you sail away. Whereas in turmoil, it's a set time. This would be a set time as well. But, you know how in turmoil, different lands have different, like, seasons, kind of, or different weather. There's, like, the winter lands. Whereas in kingdom, seasons just pass. They just happen. That's the way it would be in this. So it is a set amount of time that you're going to be mining each land. But the seasons will change throughout that time. So you have to be prepared for winter and, you know, change your you know, um, tactics and whatnot, like real time. You don't get to stop and just go to a new land that you know is going to be winter. Very dynamic, very interesting. I know I'm really adding a lot to both of these games here. Um, so yeah, basically there'll be a, a set number of lands that you will mine and you will be earning money because you're selling your oil. You'll also, it's still gold coins. So you will still be, um, using gold coins to do these recruit things and to do these upgrades. But at the same time, the two places that you're selling your oil to at the end um, will have, like, they will be generating gold coins, but it will be a slower thing rather than, like, in turmoil, you, get, you can get money, like, fast, fast, fast. This will be, like, one, two, <laughs> you know, it, it'll be, it'll be a little bit slower. But, you will still have a lot, a lot, a lot more money. Um, like that money, you don't have to try to keep it all in your in your coin purse. The, the money that you sell, I mean the oil that you sell that earns you money can just go into like a, like a, you know, little like bank sort of thing. Um, so you don't have to worry about your coin purse overflowing all the time from that sort of money. Um, and you can withdraw if you'd like. Um, but yeah, so you, you are going to be making money and you will have a lot of money. And so you might think, well, that's stupid. I have way more money than I, I need. No, no, no. You have to. It's just like in turmoil. You earn a lot of money, but you have to make sure that you don't spend too much. You're going to have enough money to keep spending and spending and spending. But you have to remember, don't spend if I don't need to. Don't send out more dowsers if, um, you know, I don't, I don't think I have time to mine any more of the land, that sort of thing. So, so you know how there's moles in um, turmoil? Well, that, like, when you get the dog, instead you could, like, get the mole. And so then they will just follow you around, and at any point you can just, like, maybe drop a coin or something um, when you want it to, like, you know, do its mole thing. Um, and then... Oh, like, you know how you can get, like, a better, you can get a better horse? Well, how about if you find a better horse that you like, like a faster horse, and you get it, you spend some money to, to get it, it upgrades all of the horses, so all the horses go faster. So that's, like, your, your wagon upgrade. Um, you obviously still have to upgrade the keep if you want a bigger silo, right? There's lots of different upgrades that you can get in Kingdom, and those could translate to different upgrades that you can get in Turmoil for your pipes. And things like that and then different people so like you know the merchant at the keep or not the merchant no the investor person at the keep he could maybe be the one that you go to if you need a loan like when you need a loan in turmoil and um there's the different people at like that you go to go to daphne's bar is it daphne i don't remember you know you go to the bar and you can get different deals maybe those could be the people in the huts you can go out to them and you can give them like a coin and then they will make the prices be better it'll be like two gold coins instead of one gold coin or like 
one gold coin every 30 seconds instead of one gold coin every 45 seconds, something like that, you know? Um, but there's also going to be sort of a lack of a lack of words and explanations, just like there is in Kingdom. So in Turmoil, you can talk to the people and they will tell you things. In Kingdom, you have to just decide, do I want to spend my money on this? Like, what is going to happen if I do this? You know, that sort of thing. Um, and I, I mean, guys, I just think it's a brilliant idea. Because the Turmoil games, or not the Turmoil games, the um, Kingdom games, they keep having these new games and like so now they're new thing they added so many things to the kingdom two crowns but then also their new sort of you know thing is that you can play it with two people but how about they just do you know another another one where it's like it's not even about portals and monsters it's about mining oil <laughs> i just think it's a really cool idea and oh yeah the actual so the end goal would be you know, you're mining all these lands and you're trying to make them as profitable as you can for each one. Um, and you will still be in competition with other, like, you know, NPCs. There'll be, like, maybe four, just like in... Four of you total, just like in Turmoil. Um, all trying to earn money and get oil from these lands. And so then at the end, whichever one of you or has earned the most money will just obviously be like the ultimate ruler of all of the lands, right? So you still have like a kingdom, sort of. Um, so those two companies can just contact me and then contact each other and we can all make this happen and I will get credit for it, obviously, because it's my idea, but we will have made the world a better place with this wonderful game. So... If you are, if you work at one of those companies, or if you know anyone that works at one of those companies, please, um, you know, get in touch with me, and I'll be waiting for your, um, I'll be waiting, I'll be waiting for, you know, your reply in this game, because the world needs it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.